Hi Tejas. Hi Deepal. Tejas on last night I was study about the E1 and E2 root of OSPF, which shows on OSPF routing table. But my concept is not so clear. Can you help me on that? Oh sure. Tejas what is E1 and E2 root in OSPF? E1 is the OSPF external type 1 root. E2 is the OSPF external type 2 root, both E1 and E2 uses LSA type 5. The root which are redistributed in OSPF are shown external E1 and E2 root in OSPF routing table. This is called OSPF E1 and E2 external type roots. Tejas still it is not clear. Can you explain with some example? Oh sure Deepal look at to this diagram. See in this diagram the root which learn from EIGRP in the OSPF via redistribution, are shown E1 and E2 root in OSPF routing table. I will explain you practically, so that your concept will more clear. Okay. In this diagram I already configured the IP address, now I will configure the OSPF and EIGRP and redistribute both of them. Okay. I will start with R1. Now R2. R3 R4 In this router I have to configure OSPF and EIGRP R5. In this router I have to configure EIGRP. Let's go in R4 and redistribute the OSPF and EIGRP. Now we will go in R3 and verify the OSPF routing table.
CNR3 OSPF routing table E2 root 5.5.5.5 R learn via redistribution. We will check the ping response from R3 to R5. C ping is reachable. Tejas what is the difference between E1 and E2 routes? I already made another video for what is the difference between E1 and E2 route. You must watch that video, so that your concept will be more clear. Ok Tejas. My concept of E1 and E2 route is clear and for knowing what is the difference between E1 and E2 route I will see your video which you mention.